have. I mean, we could jump on it. We won't finish it while we're on the call with you, but we'll start it off with you. So, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to talking to all of you. And more importantly, you need to tell a friend to tell a friend to listen to the morning grind. So if you're on terrestrial radio, you're all the way to the left, 88.7. Thank you for that. But if you got some friends, they up in the office building or down in the dungeon, if they working in a place that ain't got no windows, they can stream us. They can go to the TuneIn app. They can search K-A-Z-I, and then they'll be able to listen in. Or they can go to our website, kzifm.org, and they can listen in. But don't, don't hog it all to yourself. All these smiles, all these good times, share it. That's what, I was just telling. We, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to share. Sharing is caring. We want you calling right now, though. (laughs) Not right now. Not right now. Right now. Okay. So she, she is just warning you. No, we we got play a mix. We're gonna we're gonna do a couple other things. Tease tease a couple topics. About ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll get y'all through. Ms. Marla, I I am a little little hurting today. Uh oh. I don't know what happened, (laughs) but when you wake up, but. You, you you ain't moving. <laughs> you just sitting there looking up at the ceiling, like you were mobilized. Th- that's what happened. Too much with the kids, or did I, the wife make you wake up and <clears throat> work out for the summertime? <laughs> no, I just I think yesterday was a day. Y'all were dancing. No, no, we didn't. Matter of fact, well, good. I've got smoothies in there. Oh, and I have continental breakfast. Did you, 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 well. <laughs> <laughs> Where, where'd I mix at? No. <laughs> see, I got some green stuff. Yeah, see that? Mm, it's delicious. What? All, all your green vegetables and green fruit. And then I got some banana strawberry smoothie in there, too. Check her out. Miss Marla, mm-hmm. you all, we, we all already liked you. You, did, you didn't have to bring in stuff to make I like us myself. Like oh. <laughs> it's my birthday Eve. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Uh-huh. July babies, where you at? I had a birthday this month. You know, we we, we want to hear from. I would love to hear it's, from. It's somebody our turn now. Who's doing it? Y'all done, y'all done party. Yeah. At the beginning of the month. Still partying. It's Leo turn now. It's, I'm still partying. Though. Ah. people. That's right. You still in the month of July though. Yeah. You still you still one of us. One of us. Whatever. <laughs> then, they not like us, Sonny. <laughs> they not like <laughs> us, Leos and Cancer. See. <laughs> I love y'all. Uh-huh. Told you all my best friends since I was a kid uh-huh. end up being a cancer. And my little sister, we're separated by a year, August 6th. So she's a Leo. Mm-hmm. So I grew up so with a Leo. It continues. We start in July, then we continue into August. Yeah. So it gives me a long time to party. <laughs> <laughs> the whole month. A couple. <laughs> Couldn't help it. <laughs> it felt good. Uh, getting your steps in. They don't know you getting your steps in. I'm gonna narrate them through. I'm gonna let them know. Miss Marla in here breaking a sweat, act like her back don't hurt, and them feet ain't hurting. They, <laughs> she, they not. They not. The, the, it's a comfortable shoe. Yes. She got on the Pumas. Yes. Look like look like she ready to go jump yeah. over some stuff. Like, like she ready to go run down her her meal this morning. <laughs> <laughs> the Puma's about to strike. <laughs> 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 but the beat, the beat, the beat does wow. make you want to move, though. But you know, I got, I, I got sit in one spot. You know how you somebody's grooving and you don't want to be compared to them. L- let her, let her have it. The dance floor is hers. I'm gonna just sit right here and we'll just let you do that. <laughs> you making me look bad. What? My my That's back is hurt. <laughs> my shoes is ill fitted. <laughs> So since you got your Better thing get together, loose. yeah, uh, I'm get loose. gonna get loose now. Marla feeling good in this joint today. <laughs> what was that <laughs> green juice I just got? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how about, how about Jay Hunt coming through with the oh birthday mixtape for you? Oh my god, wasn't it awesome? Jay Hunt, big so ups to cute. Jay Hunt. Woo. Okay. I'm not done though. That was just a start, see, because I couldn't like really like work it out and stuff. <laughs> oh, that was what well, that was holding back what you just did. <laughs> I need even Stephanie to come up here and show me how to do the uh, dance to this one. She do all the line dancing and oh, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Of course, I need Country Smooth to come on up here and show me how to do this. Oh, I'm sorry, but uh, get it going. Get it going. He be looking good with a little cowboy boots. Come on. through, people. Have his little hat. Y'all hear us? 
In fact, if you don't come through, we think you're scared. <laughs> we call you out on the radio. Come through. I'm just, you know, and it's just so much been going on. Yeah. I can't do nothing but just celebrate. You got to. Because if I don't celebrate because I've been gifted with another year to be here, yep. I'll be down and depressed. You know what I'm saying? I'd be like halfway though. Half depressed, but then like half excited. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you're you're like a smirk. Not yeah. not a smile, not a frown. Right. Just yeah. Right. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. All the you know, it's like the crazy going on. Right. But then there's some good stuff going on. You know uh, what I'm you saying? Know, there's a lot it's of good always, stuff. You gotta hunt it though. Uh, you yeah. gotta hunt it. It, so you can put that at the front. You know what I'm saying? You got to hunt it so you can front it. We, we, we'll put it there. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to have it all the way at the rear. I want this goodness in my life. Oh, my goodness. Make me smile. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> I can't be damp. And how about Uncle Jay? <laughs> Uncle <laughs> Uncle Jay Hunt out there. He changed his name from, from, from Jay Hunt, uh-huh. the super DJ. <laughs> Jay Hunt, the unk that they let. Run the music at the cookout. MC. He did his thing. J Hunt. He hurt me though. I I, I said I said you <laughs> off air, but when I thought it was me, but when I found out she was like that with all the guys, no nah, <laughs> man, I can't find out she for the streets not. Oh. And all my friends know or maybe have participated. Uh-huh. I gotta move now. I gotta, I gotta move. I can't stay in this zip code. <laughs> I thought it was me. <laughs> That's, that's a dog on shit. But she had told me though it was uh-huh. me. And I, I was I believed it because you know I was getting a lot of time with her. See. But not all the time with her. <laughs> I got you. I got you. All them times of And for you. those who are invited to the um private champagne and shrimp um uh, Hennessy. Hen- no, yeah, I, I Champagne I'm sorry. and shrimp. <laughs> Yeah. We got shrimp birthday stuff. We yeah, got it was supposed sparklers. to be a surprise, but I know. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a surprise. You you ain't give out, you know, details as uh-uh. far as like where it's at and so uh-uh. surprise. You don't know the whole story. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, okay. Champagne. Yes. <laughs> And we've got wonderful guests also going to be telling us about some business. Bring them out. Bring them out. Some business. You know, because that's what we have to do. You know, ever since we had that interview with, with Dr. Asada, it's yeah. like, you know, we got to build our businesses. Oh, yeah. We've got to keep, we've got to get that money flowing through our own, because we have billions of dollars that we as a culture and you know what i mean as we as a culture we put out there Mm -hmm. but that money is those billions of dollars that we spend are coming back into our neighborhoods and that is our fault so (laughs) we've got to um celebrate business empowerment you know what i'm saying we do that's why i'm happy about our summer fest you know we will have uh, local businesses out there sharing their merch and information, mm-hmm. things like that. Now, we still need some cool food trucks because I want to eat some different food. So, if you got some uh, uh, food truck out there, you feel like you want to feed the people, you know, come and help. Let's eat. I got uh, a fraternity brother that got an icy truck. 512-836-9544. Five, five, <laughs> five, four, four. Press 2. Press two, and that's getting information on how you're gonna get your food truck over there by the summer fest so that you know we can come on and eat something. <laughs> mm. Yes, it's hot, oh, but, but I, it is but beautiful today. I'm sorry, they said high in the 80s, honey. That's a cool down, that's a cold front. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it may not sound like you say it's a high. <laughs> yeah, so, I was like, that's a cold front. Yep. Ooh, 80s. What you mean, 80s? <laughs> and ain't nobody I'm complaining. excited. It's like, what, 70-something right now? Yes, ma'am. And we got a little rain supposed to be coming in, but we need that rain. Mm-hmm. We need the rain. So Keeps my water bill low <laughs> so that grass will grow. <laughs> exactly. There you go. <laughs> and just make sure you stay hydrated also out yeah. there. Yeah. You got to stay hydrated. Oh, it'll jump up on you. Oh, I, my God. I, I had one. I had one incident so far this summer because, mm-hmm. you know, I'd be out there, I'd be doing my thing and it, I mean, it wasn't anything bad, but the body will let you know. Sometimes yes. we, we ignore that. Exactly. But my body was like, right, you got to put something in. Mm-hmm. And I did. There you go. I, I averted. 
But everybody ain't doing that. They just hopping up out there. <laughs> Let me go out here. Let me oh, see I'll be all right. No, man. <laughs> and then, you know, you calling me. I need somebody to come pick me up. <laughs> I'm not feeling well. Next well, thing you know. <laughs> You, you at the emergency room yes. with some brother in scrubs oh with some gosh. caveman hands. <laughs> Look like he got five thumbs on his hand and he trying to stick you with an uh, IV. No, oh. you don't want that because he ain't going to get it right. Fumbling, bumbling. Mm, 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 don't mm. get your blood gurgling out. Oh, my bad. Dog. I must have missed something. Let me hit, <laughs> let me hit you again. Bruh. <laughs> if I'm on cramped up, seized up, oh. heat stroking up right Mm-mm. now. Uh-oh. Be, you don't, don't do it. Nothing now. Okay, okay. Oh, you gonna you gonna go? Oh, okay. Some people don't follow instructions, but they said they said. Well, you said I couldn't call like right now, but right now ain't then. So they calling now, even though you had said then that they couldn't call now. But right now is not then, so they calling in now, which means they win. And now we get to talk to our friend. <laughs> what? <laughs> I lost. Happy it. Friday! You're live on the morning grind. You got two minutes. <laughs> Y'all always, I get up early in the morning with uh-huh. my cup of coffee and I listen to the morning grind and y'all make it stronger. <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I like some good strong coffee. He, he said don't put it's nothing in it. Coffee. I love strong yeah, I, coffee. Do you put sugar I would in like it? Voice, I would like to voice my opinion about this. Let me say this man called Donald Trump. Okay. Uh, okay, I I know everybody they, they following him and this that and the other. I mm-hmm. know what took place with him, uh-huh. but uh, I'm from New York and I think that we made the world's biggest mistake. Uh oh. Okay. okay. Voting that man in. Okay. Mm. I mean, he never he was never he never was in no kind of political office or anything. Right. You know, I can tell you the history behind Donald Trump so- and his. So you're trying to say he's never you trying to say he's never did any position where he was actually taking care of people like the public or anything like that? That yeah, man never look, the money that he had he took from his own children. Oh wow. The money the money, the money comes from Daddy Trump. Yeah. That helicopter. Daddy Trump. Oh. Now, Talk to him now. Okay. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. So he wasn't really a good because he still owed people money when he had his school and then he went bankrupt. It didn't open, but they still put out like loans. So I'm I'm almost saying, thank goodness it kind of helped out with that, you know, uh, forgiving the right. loans because people were still owed monies from when they were trying to go to his university and it closed. No, no. Without right. giving them and the money back, you know, like come on now, I don't know. Exactly. You know, we gotta then, we gotta check out and see if, who you getting ready to put in the office. Are they someone who looks out for what your values are? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Are they looking right. out for that? Oh my goodness, we do have to think and look at everybody and check. We got to do the research. We got to vet these people, and it starts right here in the state of Texas, man. Exactly. Oh my God, and right here, right here. Because I don't care who you put in that office. Each state runs its own in Texas, acting like we are a world of our own. It's a whole <laughs> yeah. another country. <laughs> we got our but own I, thing. I appreciate you calling in, and I appreciate your um, you voicing your opinion. It's very, very important that people start. And one, one um, more thing before we go. Okay. And I'm strengthening my coffee again. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> we the people. Okay. No, nobody can take any office yeah. except at the beginning of the Constitution, big bold alphabet letters. We the people are the ones that vote these people in. I hear you. That's right. They can't just do like other countries. Let their whoever, like the Putin or whatever his name is, <laughs> he's been in office for years. We don't need any months, dictators. Eight. We you. don't. If we. We put these people in office, so we need to investigate these people just Hello. like we the FBI. There you go. There you go. We got to investigate who we putting up in there. That's people right. will say things Come on. just to put in office and they don't do nothing. Right. Woo check now, those lies you know, out. Check those lies. I appreciate you. I appreciate yes, you. Ma'am. You have a wonderful yes. day and have some good old strong coffee. <laughs> go. yes, <ma'am>. <laughs> <laughs> Brother say I I'm a nigga. Oh. Have a Stop good one now. All right, you know what we got to do. Yep.
I want to thank you Did for the. <laughs> Want to get they? You gotta get that outfit oh. type for the weather and the traffic. It's too late, Dapper D. But once they out in it, it's too late. It's too Hopefully, late. I've helped somebody. Oh. Do you I, do you have any blue suede shoes yourself? I do. I thought it's so. a dark blue though, oh. like a navy. Yes, man, yes. them things are nice. They comfortable mm. too. I have some hush puppies. Oh, they're quite sexy. Yeah, mm-hmm. you, gotta, you gotta bring them out. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll call it the the blue shoe day. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll coordinate. I heard a black man wrote that song. I'm sorry. I'm about to start already. You ready? <laughs> I mean, what is it? I mean, it's, it's, I'm here to talk some business. Okay, let's talk that business. I'm here to talk some business. Mm-hmm. I got some people in the house, some wonderful people in the house. Yes, let's go ahead and introduce them. Let's do mic checks. Uh, mic check number one. Oh, that's me. Mic check number two. Uh, check, check. We we good? Okay. We good? All right. All, all right. right. All How right. How about that? Mic check number three. Check, check. We oh, good. Oh, yes. And we already know that, but got to go. Riggity right route. <laughs> 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 Happy Friday, beautiful people. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Friday. I like it. You know, we got feeling- a bunch of voices all up yeah. in here. You See. know, normally I'm. I, oh, this is Terrence Terry here. Thank you. You Thank know, you. grown man game radio, hey, just yeah. hanging out in the morning. You know, the, on the morning grind, mm-hmm. feeling really insecure Why? about myself Why? because I, I am the only person uh-huh. in here. There's a lot of men in here. That I'm not wearing the suit. <laughs> <laughs> number one, number two, I, I pull up and there's a fly Mercedes <laughs> Benz. Hey, the Benzo. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Benzo out uh-huh. front though. Do you wanna <laughs> ride in my Mercedes? <laughs> boy? Oh my yeah. You tell me? If, if, if there's a sister walking up in here to talk black business, uh-huh. maybe that's what she should roll up. <laughs> and, 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 and you know what the that license plate? You know what the license plate said? Uh. No, he not. Yeah, no, I'm not. Uh-uh. <laughs> what did it say? No, he didn't. What did it say? What did it say? Thank God it's Friday. Had a Friday hey, something, hey. something, and I'm like, man. <laughs> I'm feeling like straight, you know. I need, I'm gonna need some therapy after this show. All right, uh, we got you. Okay, we got I'm sorry. You. Okay, I just we had to vent. We got you, man. I just we had got to vent. Miss Friday, Good welcome morning. to the morning grind. Good morning. <laughs> Tell me what you want. Do you, do you, do you. Yes. <laughs> love it, love Girl, it. Girl, we want to talk some business. We want to talk business. Let's Absolutely. talk some business. We yeah. got some stuff coming up. We got some stuff coming up. Tell um, us about it. Yeah. What's going on? Well, the Greater Mount Zion Economic Empowerment Cause Team. We are hosting the first, to my knowledge, here in this city, mm-hmm. um, the first Black Business Economic Empowerment Summit okay. in celebration okay. of National Black Business Month. Hey, wow. August the 10th. Okay. Uh, over at Greater Mount Zion Church, 4301 okay. Tanny Hill Lane. Yeah. Um, Starting at 9 o'clock from like 9 to 10, we're going to have this coffee chat where you can come and network Mm -hmm. from 10 to 12. We will be having an actual summit. We've got some amazing speakers coming as well. Mm. Dr. Groovy. Listen, that young man, Mm -hmm. I am so proud of him. Uh, of his boldness, number one, to okay. put, he's got a business in the domain, you know, probably. Shut your the, mouth. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, Dr. Mike, Michael Cox, an amazing therapist, someone to help talk about our mental health as business owners, mm-hmm. particularly black business owners and yes. the things that we deal with. And then Dr. Tamala Saldana. Mm. She's a powerful sister, y'all. See. She is the, um, Assistant Director for Small and Minority Business Resources Mm -hmm. for the City of Austin. She's also the Interim Chief Equity Officer at this time uh, serving. um, She's got a PhD from UT. Come on now, come Uh, on. That's what I'm talking about, a PhD Mm. from UT. She has been in... um, taught at Southwest. She is uh, pretty powerful. So she's going to talk about mm. where black businesses are today and where we need to go. Absolutely. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. But does she have a Benz though? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm not even going to put her business out there in the streets like that. We ain't going to put her business in the streets. she's a Beamer person? Uh, <laughs> Terrence, she, everybody got their own taste. No, right. We're going to do go. that Beamer. Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of like the Beamers too. Though. Oh, oh Beamers are nice. Seven yeah. series. Mm. No, seven. Seven. Oh, she specified. She's <laughs> not the five series. And, huh? and notice okay. she didn't say she likes to drive them. She got the seven series so she can sit in the back. 
Okay. I like to be chauffeured. And yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Driving Miss <laughs> Marley. So at the end of that, the moniker, it's going to be an L at the end. That's that executive joint. You can stretch your feet nope. out. I had a chauffeur mind. get me here today. Mm. <laughs> Right. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to say uh, thank you for Miata. That was it, man. <laughs> that was. Oh, I thought it was a car. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? The- it said Miata will be here in twelve minutes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's still making this <laughs> <and> <laughs> <Alex> <laughs> right on time. I'm. I'm wow. very curious. I, I'm excited about some of your speakers. When well, your name is Gray Groovy, in order for someone to take you seriously, you had to go get your doctorate, right? <laughs> and Doctor Greg Groovy. <laughs> is gonna be there <laughs> he gotta say nothing i'm coming for the name <laughs> and then he can impress me with what he say after the fact there but i just want to meet the brother that's wow. man like a, a smooth brother see yeah. groovy wow great groovy so i'm really interested because you know i had we had an interview probably like last month with a um, lady out of houston dr asada and she was talking about cooperative mm-hmm. businesses and had a summit down with the city you know have it and i was like you know what that is something that us black businesses need to think about coming together also because like that's why you sometimes have to have somebody that can help you with that mental stress because it is stressful out here running your own business you know what i'm saying and sometimes we have to understand that the no's and the rejects don't mean it's (laughs) failure it just means that um that reject is not saying no to you it's just saying you're not supposed to be doing that maybe right now right now maybe right now you might need to do something else you might need to get some uh more people working on that business plan for you you know what i'm saying maybe we need to work on that marketing plan or something like that doesn't mean it means no or reject because you didn't get that business loan or it may mean not right now right not right now that part exactly lady friday if someone already has a business and they think let me go to this summit. Nah, I already got a business. I think they'd be making a mistake. Do you think that if they didn't realize that they could go out, find out about government contracts, mm-hmm. maybe get a little more visibility, have have networking, uh, grants, find out about grants that maybe they haven't even used, right? and more importantly, other people who come out mm-hmm. could see that the inclusivity that's going to be coming out of this, the jobs that are coming out of this. Yes. Are those some of the things that people should be thinking about? You know, the first thing we need to think about is that, again, in light of National Black Business Month, it's a celebration. Yes. Mm. It's to celebrate what mm. we have contributed to the U.S. economy. Mm. Come on. And when you think about that, I don't even think we think like that. Yeah. We don't. I mean, we go to work. You know, you go to work, you put your head down. Come on. You, you're in your daily grind. You do what you do and you move on. But when you really stop and think about, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> I pay taxes, yeah, Mm. which helped this city run, which helped this country run, you know. And so this, first of all, is a celebration. We want to celebrate black owned businesses. That's what this is for, for National Black Business Month. But the other thing is, you're right. There's going to be some exposure, right? Yes. We have a vendor, a Greater Wall Street Market Fair, where we've got oh. over 40 vendors showing up. Oh, wow. wow. Black owned businesses showing up. They're going to sell their product. Mm-hmm. We're opening up. Uh, I'm now. with you, Marla. We're looking for some food trucks, some more. <laughs> That's the only thing we're missing right now. Hey, you we've know, got a few. You got to put it out about, there. Right. Listen, food truck. Listen, we need y'all. But, um, <laughs> we we've got eat. over 40 businesses coming. How awesome. Um, so, and is again, that just from like austin or surrounding like austin and the surrounding area Mm, we have invited this is a community event it's being held at greater mount zion yes on the campus yes but this is a community event Mm -hmm. and we want not just business owners we want people that don't own businesses to come out and celebrate yeah yeah no 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 no. this is for the public we're celebrating businesses period yeah, yes. it's a party, y'all. A so party. I'm out here and, and I like to party. You likes to party. Yeah, par- listen, party Being in the morning and uh-huh. right. afternoon right. and night. You know, what, hey, what's in that glass? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, uh. Hey, don't, green goodness. And don't okay. you don't you judge? <laughs> you gonna ask what's in there? It, make, it sound like he was gonna try to put you on blast. <laughs> uh, maybe I wanted some. Maybe. <laughs> oh my goodness! I'll, Friday. I'll fix you some. Thank yeah. you. I'll bring you a shot. Thank you. The other, but there's a highlight. Oh yeah. 
that I don't know if you've seen it on the card. We're giving away. I, I saw say, that. I see it. Five thousand dollars. <laughs> I saw. I saw it. That part, right? So, that you, part. You put a dollar sign. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes went first. We Tell me about sign. this five thousand dollar business scholarship. And do you have to have a business to get? <laughs> well, you're gonna have to have a business. <laughs> That part you're gonna have to have a business. What if it's do my I have business to get the Do I have to show my business plan? <laughs> well, you know, the interesting part is we put an application together. We sent out invitations to over 525 black businesses mm. to apply for this scholarship. Yeah. And uh, the scholarships are in. Wow. And the judging has begin, you know, begun last night. I met with the judges. They are judging these, um, the applicants, and it was a process. But mm, the, yeah. but let me tell you something. The the application was designed to be an educational piece. Mm. Um, and mm. when we educate, we empower. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yes. That's so right. So it's an educational piece. And so as you went through the scholarship, we, we got some feedback going, oh, my gosh, you need all this. Well, if you're going to build your business to scale this to stuff, come on. you're going to have to come up with. Yeah. Hello. Bottom line. So it wasn't that we just giving away $5,000. We are. But we w but there's a process that has to That's be right. taken place. And so. Exactly. um and it's really given the five thousand dollar scholarship away we are black businesses and period mm -hmm. we have the hardest time getting money mm. exactly. we get turned down more times right. than you can what ever do you imagine. think that is is it ignorance to the process it's the country that's the opinion the, the views and opinions of alicia <laughs> exactly. exactly the views that and part. opinions of alicia but 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 it's true I, i'll tell a quick story i was at the gym one morning 5 a.m and i've been trying to get a uh, a loan not even a loan a line of credit for twenty five thousand dollars from my bank I'm on the thing. They kept turning me down. I'll never forget when the lady came out. I, I guess my scores weren't high enough. And she looked at me. And I'm like, I just want to know what happened, what was wrong. She looked at me. And she says, we don't just give money to anybody. Oh. But it was the look that she gave me as if I didn't even deserve it being mm. a black woman. So I'm mm -hmm. on the treadmill. I'm looking at the TV. And CNN is giving this report mm -hmm. about this lady, uh, a white-owned business who... Mm -hmm. She had grown her business and she needed to increase her credit lines. First, they said no, and then they gave it to her. Mm. I got out of the gym. I went in, I called my bank, and I told them, I said, so do I need to go onto the news to say that about y'all? Mm. It was like the next week. <laughs> you they were giving me, yeah, they were giving me a credit line. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm. So the struggle is real. Come on now. Mm. Stereotypes, yeah, come on. bias, discrimination. Absolutely. But that, that yes. can make it harder for black owned businesses to secure funding. Mm -hmm. And uh, even even more than securing funding, attracting customers Absolutely. and building relationships. Absolutely. So there may be some people here, again, with me and my fledgling black owned business, speaking of you listeners, <laughs> to come out and then find out those other people that were dealing with those negative perceptions absolutely as you just mentioned absolutely and and dr saldana will definitely touch on that the uh small minority business resource center of uh of the city of austin they are amazing yeah. mm -hmm. and what i like about them is they are about educating small businesses on how to do business where the money is there i think they have an event in september mm -hmm. that i'm going through it's a big event yeah um the problem y'all is that we won't show up. Mm. We have yep. to work on that. It's, it's out there, but we, we won't show up. Yeah. And so uh, 525 invitations, I'm not even going to, I won't even, let's just say this. It was less than less. Okay. The applicants that came in, this free money. Hmm. We want to help say, you. We want to help you grow your business. 20% of, uh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> wow. But when it comes to application processes, <clears throat> sometimes I think that is a barrier for some. Uh, some people realize that the application process, documentation requirements for, for certifications, for scholarships can be lengthy. Um, what would you say to those people who always see that hurdle and like, man, I don't want to mess around with that? What would you say? Because I think that's what's holding some back. You know, like anything life, anything worth having, you got to work for it. Hmm. Number one, it's an application, right? right? Um, it's not like they're asking for your liver. I, uh, I apply for, um, <laughs> I apply for um, I'm doing some business. One of my customers, we're trying to move me into the state of New York. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. I'm a foreign entity, yeah. first mm-hmm. of all. Yeah. So you've got to get a, be a registered agent. You got to do all this. When I tell you, it took me a month to just, I had the paperwork, mm-hmm. but just the mindset. And, yes. and in the application, yes. there were points where I didn't even, they didn't even apply to me. Mm-hmm. I had to write a letter. Mm-hmm. So I had to write 15 letters mm. to upload into the system. Wow just for that so but i'm gonna tell you something what i'm looking for is the return so follow through yes right there's there's a return there's exactly. a re- even if i don't get any business mm-hmm. i am certified and i would be certified there in the go. state of new york for yep. another opportunity yes. right so if there's someone else someone that's out there listening and they're saying well i you know i, I don't know if i really get it you know this isn't me uh would you agree that minority owned businesses black owned businesses they bring unique perspectives. They, they you, it allows you to tap into a niche, uh, different markets, and more importantly, promote diversity. So we also want people that are not black to show up to this. Oh, absolutely. I've invited everyone. Here's the deal. <laughs> this is for absolutely black, National Black Business Month, which means we're gonna highlight and, and um, uh, celebrate black businesses. Yeah. But these are American businesses. <laughs> Come yeah. on now. Yeah. They're American businesses. That part. Right? And the money is green that you need to you spend need to with them. You need to hear me well. Yeah. Um, these are American businesses. Yes. We just happen to be minority, right? Okay. So again, we contribute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Woo. To this economy, billions, billions. <laughs> I, no, that's not a. That, right. I'm no, not joking. No, no, no. That's that's that's. And the value. if we can get that billions, billions floating through our black businesses, yeah, we might not be so hesitant when we get to filling out those applications or trying to do because it's like you know what, this money's out there for me. Absolutely, she said, be billions. It is. Yeah, it's and the, applica- and, this, and the application process is more about the mindset too. Mm. It's daunting. Absolutely. Yes. It makes you look at yourself. It makes you go, Am I good? enough am i worth this am i you know is it you know and and it's supposed to be hard it's supposed to be a challenge yes. it's supposed it's not supposed to be easy you know so it's when, when, when you understand that going into it mm-hmm. that it is a process i mean it's five thousand dollars you know like it's not come know, on and, and then and that's some good seed money. right and it makes you, and, it, and it helps you and the difficulty of it helps you to appreciate you know mm-hmm. it when you get it but it's a but it's a process but yeah. but the mindset of am i good enough am i worth it mm-hmm. and i've been told no before it's like that guy in the club and he sees that woman it's like eh, i've been rejected four times tonight <laughs> you know so I've heard, but it's. Yeah. it's, 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 it's I, mean, I, mean, I, I won't. I don't know what ain't that no, feels. Ain't no G in this room. I don't know what I that feels that like. Oh my you know. God. Happy, happy Friday! <laughs> you are live on the morning grind. Well, happy Friday to everybody down there. How y'all doing? Doing great. Thanks we for asking. Awesome, 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 awesome. Praise the Lord. Hey, to your guests, I heard you stating that uh, that you when you go in there, you needed some money to borrow some money, and the, la- the lady looked at you and was and uh, I don't know how much you wanted to borrow, but I've had that experience when I was young too, and I just haven't went back to even try to borrow no money. And all I wanted was like five hundred dollars when I was young. And I'm looking at these other people, these white people, they can come in there with a dream, a reality, they can get it on the phone, just come in, and then they don't have any payment. Some of them don't have a payment to like a balloon payment. My question is to you, you know, I hear that the credit, the financial institution, the banks, the money is not really in the banks. Now, we all deposit our money into the bank, but yet still the money has been invested into Sam. You know, I heard this on Wonderful Life. That does, your, your money is in Sam's house. Your money went over here. Your money already. Well, I don't really, we don't really have the money, but yet still, we all invest invest our money, put our money back because we need a checking account and a savings account. So if the money is not in the bank and only a certain group of people are, 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 are to receive those those loans and privileges, isn't that a denial access? Isn't that the form of discriminatory practices? Isn't that some form that we don't even get representation in our own banking institution, but you use our money to invest in somebody else's dream, majority probably, well, white, if you can say it. And we in pro black America don't have any privileges. And my only, uh, co- and you can answer that. And my last comment is on uh, Trump and Vance, they're going to follow up. They like bulldogs. And also, Kamala Harris, I don't know if you saw President Kamala Harris when she walked out there and Benjamin Nahu was behind she her. She already called her oh. president. Oh, girl, girl. girl. <laughs> 
<laughs> the man was shaking in his pants. He's scared now. You hear me? Come out there with that bull crap. And it was... <laughs> so I just... I, and Terrence, you're the one I want to talk to, but uh, I guess I could talk to you on another day. Okay. Well, you know, I, I didn't mean to in, uh, I apologize if we made you feel bad by laughing about you. But <laughs> no, I'm used, to, I'm used to being laughed at. You know, I, got a, I got a strong ego. It's all, it's all love. It's all love. But thank you. It's all good. I'm good. I'm oh, good. I'm, I'm going to okay, sing a little something for you later on, okay? I want to I hear that little something. <laughs> You okay. have a wonderful day now. Thank you for All right, calling y'all in. Be the same. All, right. All right, y'all be blessed. Right. Bye bye. You know, one of the things that we have got to do is when one door shuts, go knock on the next door. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. You Come know, on. Uh, you know, a lot of times we are looking for these larger banking institutions to support us, and and the re- the, the reality is the, dis- the the disparity studies are real. They the numbers don't lie. But it doesn't mean that there's not somebody, right? There are a bunch, there are quite a few smaller little uh, micro loan loan entities that you can go to as well, especially when it comes to business. But even if you're not going for business, listen, what what one bank won't do, another one will, Hmm. right? Hmm. It just will. So it's about... um, Hanging in there, being resilient. Listen, next. Come on now. <laughs> You've Come got on. to have a next kind Come of on. attitude. We've been in business for October will be 25 years for us. Wow. Oh, wow. If you only knew the struggle. See. Uh, if you only knew how many times I've been told no. Do you, mm. you know how many times I've walked into the room for real? Come on. Uh, listen, suited and booted. My my, my Navy suit, I, I had the outfit on yes. that, that they told me I needed to wear, right? right. My yeah. hair, my neck, everything. Yeah. Only to be still be looked at as, mm. you know, you're really not welcome. But I mm. work hard for the Come money. Come on now. I know that's I right. I work hard. So so l- let's go ahead and um, end this wonderful conversation. Yeah. Go ahead. Let them know when, where, how, yeah. what's going on. And how much. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we thank can't. you for saying that. This is free. Oh, this is free. It, what, what? It is, this I get is all this free. knowledge. You get all this knowledge yeah. for free. No charge. This is a community event. It's held at Greater, but this is for the Greater community. There this is go. for the city there and surrounding go. area. Is that a work day, August 10th? No, August 10th is a Saturday okay, morning. I was about to <coughs> call in sick. <laughs> Saturday <laughs> morning. from uh, We starting at 9 from 9 to 10, having a coffee chat networking section mm-hmm. session from 10 to 12 we will have the actual summit and award the scholarship scholarship applicants will have to wow, be nice. present and then from uh 12 to 2 we're gonna shop we're going to invest back in the community there you go that's and what I'm talking uh, about. listen we're gonna build their businesses we're gonna yes. sew back into black businesses come on now this is a community event this yes. is not just for business owners yeah. we want you to come out and help us celebrate mm. and empower our businesses. Awesome. awesome. Greater Mount Zion Church, 4301 Tina Hill Lane, Austin, Texas, 78721, August 10th, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. So that's a good window. If you run a little late, because it's Saturday, you want to sleep in, get a little brunch going, and then you show up. Yeah, show you know, up. The last some stuff. Business but. Empowerment Bring your summit. checkbook. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm Bring your, your checkbook. Your, we want your, 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 your Apple Pay. Your, your, you know, I got to update myself. <laughs> yeah, because you said there's going to be I'm the still, Wall Street it. Vendor still, Fair. Still still right Wall Street. Street. Yeah, Greater Wall Street Vendor Fair right afterwards. Again, so far we've got 40, over 40 businesses from all kind, all kinds of things, businesses wow. and services yes. um, to, that are going to be out. And we want you to come and, uh, again, sow into them. Appreciate you. Yeah. Appreciate everything Thank that you, you do for, for our community. Absolutely. Yes. Ooh, all right, we're going to give some love to our sponsors and we'll be right back. So sh- the morning grind. Get ready. It's a new 88.7 FM broadcasting from. Austin, Texas, and they're streaming from all over the world. They're on the TuneIn app. All they did was search KZI or on our website, kzifm.org. 
We've got Miss Marlowe over. She's doing double duty. She's over there on the board and presenting her wonderful personality. And it's hard because when you got to move this down and move that and adjust, and then you got to placate to those in the in the studio and make sure that they feel comfortable. She is doing all the work. Wow. I just sit here and. Uh, just Try to look dapper. dapper. <laughs> That's all I got to do. I she does the hard work. I want to say happy Friday to Seattle, Washington. Hey. Happy Friday. Uh-uh, just in the middle of the United States. Who who's, is that? who's that? Who's that in that flyover state? Okay, right. Okay. Oh, Nebraska. Oh. oh. Mm. Cornhuskers. <laughs> Bring the black shirts back. <laughs> West Virginia. <laughs> Richmond, Virginia. Hey. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to Pennsylvania. Keystone State. <laughs> And, uh, of course, down there in Galveston, they tuned in. Okay. What's up, Galveston? Galveston, invite me down. Yeah, San Antonio. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we bunched out in San Antonio. We got a whole we- lot of the... I always say Seguin. So, yeah. Oh, and then if we go across the water. Hey, who, who's, who's international? Happy Friday to Ireland. Hey, Ireland. And Top of the morning to you. Happy <laughs> Friday to Berlin. Oh. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Berlin. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Don't do Say it one countries. more time. I'm running out of language. I know, right. Say it one more time. Guten <laughs> Morgen. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> we have some wonderful, beautiful faces here to share some more information for our community. Let's go ahead and do some mic checks. Go ahead and... Uh, uh, good morning, good morning. Ah, nice voice. <laughs> Who might you be, sir? <laughs> Thank you for having me here. Max, I mean, Maximilian. All right, hey. Maximilian. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, come on. Good morning, Ooh. KZI. Oh, she's yeah, not so sweet. <laughs> she's done this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's a pro. She's a pro. <laughs> I'm Emlyn. Hi, Emlyn. I Hi. love that name. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, yeah. We'll need yes. to get that story. Oh. Like, <laughs> where, did, where did it come from? Where, where it did they? It's actually a boy's Welsh name, but I oh. am not a neither. And um, <laughs> I actually have four older sisters, and we're named alphabetically, so I'm the youngest E. Oh. So it had to be. Uh, and Emlyn wow. became the name, I guess. I don't yeah, know. I like it. Hey. Well done, parents. Well, my name has an interesting history, too. Uh, Max said, let me tell my name. Wait a minute. Uh, I guess Go ahead, Max. we don't hear that often. <laughs> Wait a minute. Maximilian actually <laughs> comes from my Roman side, my Italian side, oh. which is Massimiliano. Oh. Grazie, oh. buongiorno a tutti. Oh. Say it again, Massimiliano. Massimiliano. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, now I hate that he dumbs it down for us Americans in our American English. Um, I have to. Sheesh. I have to. <laughs> Wow. I love an accent. I know, right? I've known him for like 23 years. I never said it like that. Hey, because he's Showtime America. He's on on the mic right now. He's Showtime. And he's letting you know there's different layers. (laughs) And it's time to go. He puts on a show. Oh, my goodness. Maximilian, if you didn't know. He has stole the show. Yeah. I know. <laughs> hey, sorry, Max, sorry. Maximilian, you're just here to do an interview. You're not <laughs> yeah, in show business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, man. School's up. School's he tried, up. He sorry, trying to I, tell you you're stealing his shine. Yeah, yeah. Let's get to the Brave Fest yeah. so we can get him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, I just, I only been here for like 15 months. And this would be the shortest job I ever had. <laughs> no, no, it's your world. I'm, I live in it. <laughs> oh. It's your world. And then you're all tall. How tall are you? Just six feet. Yeah, we just, just. <laughs> you're above the average. Come on, Maximilian. You know what? Maximiliano. Right, right. I ain't even going to say it no more. I'm going to just talk to Emily. I'm going to work on it. I'm going to hang out so I can get that accent. Yes. <laughs> we won't make it to M. We're just going to A, B, C, D. We're going to make it to E. We ain't going to make it to M. So he's just going to sit there and be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Let's talk about that Brave Fest. Yeah, where is yeah. the Brave, Brave Fest? Fest? Brave Fest is coming and we're bringing it back. And so it is this Sunday at Antone's from 2 to 6. We've got a fabulous lineup. Downstairs on the main floor is going to be the Peterson Brothers. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love <laughs> them. I've been knowing them since they were a knee high to a duck. Oh, <laughs> oh, great. And they're all grown now. 
<laughs> How awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, and then Saul Paul's in the house. Hey, yeah, you, you know, know Saul, Saul Paul. Paul. I know. You know, right now he's in Atlanta doing some Usher Foundation. Yes, yes. He's doing the foundation with Usher. Wow. Yes. Showing out. I know. Go ahead. And then we have the mariachis, Los Colonels. All and right. Sorry, my, I don't do accents. Okay. Yeah, because you're, you're Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that Asian Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> it's America. We all mixed around uh, I'm here. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Fox Tones are performing. Oh, yes. Yes. Fun, fun, song, um, yeah. funk and soul band. Mm. And then Sway with Prey. It's a Bollywood dancer. Oh, so my God. I saw that. I was too. You know, we have Bollywood on our station. Really? Yes, I yes, love yes. I love it. And yes, you, can't, so. you can't sit in your seat when there's a Bollywood no, no. performance and going no. on. So. No. And Prey is so fun and so active. So it'll be great. Oh, my goodness. That's So exciting. that's going to be um, downstairs. And then okay. upstairs, we've got a fantastic... All these local vendors are mm-hmm. fabulous, and as well as children's activities. Yes. So we have Chris Isom, who will be um, sharing his book, his new book, Vitality Quest. Yes, yes. And also Terry P. Mitchell, who will be sharing her book, yes. The City We Built, The Black Leaders of Austin. Of Austin. So come nice. on. It's family friendly. Nice. It is free. Just RSVP oh. before <laughs> Sunday. Yes. Okay, can we back up? <laughs> you have to RSVP. All of these. Yes. All of these. Yes. Mighty fine performances. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you said it's family friendly. Yes. yes. And it's free. Yes. Because <laughs> Maximilian, even though I can't rock it like you rock it, someone enjoyed me and I got three kids. So I'm bringing all the kids. Uh, 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 no. yes. You said it's free. Yes, it is Good free. Entertainment. Just but you'll sure. have to listen to me because guess who is co MC? Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Please continue. <laughs> no, no, yes. no, I'll be in the bathroom <laughs> and then I'll come it. out when Sway with Prey is out. Then I'll go back to the bathroom when you're on the mic. I'll come out on the Fox Tones. T- It'll be a lot of bathroom break. <laughs> <laughs> How wonderful. Yes. Now, Brave, um, What what is that? What I mean, you know, what... We can't. We, we can't be a coward. What, no, what, what's that about? What, what, what? We got to be brave. We yeah, got to be brave. We all um, are brave. That's right. <laughs> so brave is a nonprofit here in Austin. Mm-hmm. It's our mission is to really cultivate um, and co-create brave spaces. And yes. brave is actually an acronym. So it's building relationships, awareness, voices, and engagement. Wow. And so nice. we have a variety of programs. So one of them is mainly our community events. Mm-hmm. And thanks to the city of Austin's the mm-hmm. cultural arts division, this is why we've got a great grant for mm-hmm. putting this event on for, great. for the community. Yes. And then we also um, do some youth leadership programs yeah. locally on a local level. And then today we actually have 21 teen girls coming from the Asia Pacific region wow. coming to Austin for five days on a Tech Girls program. So oh, nice. It's going to be a nice Sunday, will be a nice cross cultural connection. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. And, um, and so, yeah, we do, you know, the community events plus youth empowerment and social change and. We're here for the people. Nice. Now I feel bad. We bring these 21 girls all the way from the Asia Pacific to Texas. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't America. They're going to go back and they're going to tell everybody about what we've we're doing. We've got to get we cowboy hats and boots. A lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah. And they Come eat on, stuff Evelyn. like breakfast tacos. <laughs> <laughs> they love it. They love it. <laughs> so you, you, you guys are going to have the live music. Yes. Um, there's dance. Yep. I cut a rug, Maximilian. I cut a rug. That's another reason how I got the white. There's going to be some it. spoken word. Yeah. Miss Marlon will know something about oh. some spoken word. I need to get you all on She's it. a fan. Uh, I'm ne- next year. Grab me next year. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. There's going to yes. be kids' that. activities. Yep. So I could just, and don't judge me, I could just let my kids go. And point in the direction of activity. He's gonna leave them on the second floor while he's down yes. on the first dance floor and babysit at the same well, time. You can do both. I mean, yeah, but there's gonna be children's activities. We've got like temp- tattoos, yeah. face painting. Don't tell me what now. to do, Emily. She says you could do both. <laughs> Bossy, stop being so brave. I said I'm only doing one or the other. So I will take you up on your vendors. Don't do it all. I will dance. I will enjoy the live music, and my kids, Emily, will be by themselves doing their thing. Sure, sure. Okay. You see how I clear that up? I was brave <laughs> in how I delivered that. Now, is there a website that we can go to so that we can register? Because we have to register yes. in order to, yes, so for it to be. Mm-hmm. Great. So go to bravecommunities.org. Com- okay. So brave, brave com- communities, plural, mm-hmm. dot org, and you can register and get the tickets. Awesome. Great. Yes. Yay. 
<laughs> so this this sounds like this is going to be an inclusive event. So oh, we're absolutely. talking LGBTQ plus yes. opportunities and 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 some great. Uh, do you got any uh, any any women owned vendors? Yeah, absolutely, you gonna have we totally have all okay. the great right. vendors. Actually, <laughs> let me pull up the so I don't. Oh yeah, well then let us know. <laughs> we do have we've got a lot of great food. So we've got um, Pam's Way Kitchen coming. We also have um, Happy Vegan. Yeah, They're yeah. coming and and providing some food. We also have. I'm sorry, sorry let me just double and then almost cut. So there's gonna be because I was like Happy <laughs> Vegan is the. Sh- <laughs> Yeah, shut your mouth. <laughs> no, it's great. I, I'm talking about vegan. All right. <laughs> then that's okay. <laughs> so some arts and crafts. You guys are going to have a little vibrant marketplace, it sounds like. Yes. And uh, these are these performances, this is going to be exciting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, I want to know. So, so what if the Fox Tones come on? And yes, uh, he's love. funny and he's charming. Maximilian's rocking the stage. <laughs> <laughs> is there a hook to get him off so I can hurry up and get to sway with prey? It's like, my yeah. 15 minutes of fame. <laughs> All right. Do your thing then. I'm telling you, Maxi, you did it. You came in here. You came in here with the voice. And then you threw the accent you in there. You became a target. <laughs> and then you bragged of how tall you were. <laughs> it was a question. And I'm under six foot, so... He- and he kind of looked down at me. And, and, and I'm sitting in some seat. I don't know why this seat is so low of all we days. We need therapy for him, too. Oh. But if I may say one thing. Okay. Uh-huh. May I just say one thing? Very short and everything. Okay. Besides being the co MC for this event on Sunday, I actually have the honor of being on the board. Ah. Of I am the oh. chair of the board. So yes. I, 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 yes. I, I just love being a part of this nonprofit that really highlights a lot of social injustices yeah. Come on in now. our environment. Yeah. And yeah. so it's just great to have collaborative events that bring this together. Because if we yes. do not raise the visibility yes, sir. to social injustice, this is come how on. are we gonna talk about them? yes okay. like we're not saying we're gonna solve them right but let us it have is. the relationships yes. raise the awarenesses yeah. and yes. voices yeah and then we take it from there come on. Yeah. it's not <laughs> just about six feet tall <laughs> it's <laughs> not just <laughs> about massimiliano Please, Please. it is about <laughs> social injustices let's do it <laughs> can i have an amen amen <laughs> right, i'm done next <laughs> <Maximilian. I'm> done. <laughs> If no one has told you, <laughs> you're amazing. <laughs> yeah, he stole a show, oh, baby. I love you too. I that's, love why he, that's why he's <laughs> emceeing Sunday. Yeah, an individual. That is why he's emceeing Sunday. <laughs> Look, everyone else on the board was like, hey, so we're going to need somebody to go down to the radio station. I mean, everybody's just, you know what? I ain't going to say nothing. We <laughs> know who's going. <laughs> let's, let's, and me, I was like, what? what? I'm, I'm just a technologist <laughs> from 9 to 5. That's all I am. That's yes. all I do. I was just going to give you props because you get to hang out with Emily. <laughs> but that too. Clearly, you're, 20 you're your plus years. solar system. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> so, but that's, you know what, though? I really like what, what you said there because sometimes in order for us to open eyes and welcome in others to 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 fully embrace all the, the diversity that's out there maybe you could do it in a space like this where it's not so imagine if we were in a forum mm-hmm. what what is it four walls someone like a stage and it gets a little intimidating it's a little it's a little more confined yeah. versus this the Brave Fest, that's a great idea. Yeah. I'm yeah. glad I came up with it. <laughs> Wait. Oh, my God. Thank you. God. Thank you. Yeah. See, Thank there you. it is. Instead of laughing, everybody should have been appreciative like he was. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I'm helping the community like this. Oh, okay, oh, wow. so I like that it's going to be free. We have when to get register. With, uh, you have to get there and RSVP before to get that Sunday. free. Yes, <laughs> before Sunday. Okay. Yes. And $5 if you pay their no, yeah. no. well so we get that free we'll get that free we'll make sure they they know that that free yeah, so no, this is no sunday prices, no prices. july 28th from 2 to 6 p.m yes. central standard time antone's nightclub antone's. 305 east fifth street austin texas all right look we love antone's you got, you, um, this you gotta get there y'all better hurry up and and uh 
Make your plans to get there. Don't show up yes. late. Can I give a I shout out to all the vendors, too? Yes, I was please. Doing, doing justice. So Colors of Austin Therapy is going to be there. Yeah. The Happy Vegans, GSL, SEN Austin. Mm-hmm. They do a lot of um, LGBTQ education for families. Okay. Awakened um, Journey is going to be there. Carabella Designs. Kai Decor. Mm-hmm. Melanated Source Jewelry. Mm. And then Ride the Concord and Life Elixirs. Hey, so every, awesome. we got a great, great group yes. of local vendors, small businesses. So come out and support everybody. Wow. Mm-hmm. We thank you. And thank you for doing this for the thank community. You. Oh. Thank you. And thanks this for is an awesome, this opportunity. This awesome organization. Thank and you. So now, now that we have all made our partnership. Yes. See, next time, KZI will be there. And then you guys will show up at our Summer okay. Fest. Yes, we'll love that. 2024. Let's okay. do it. Let's, yes. <laughs> it's an acronym, everyone. <laughs> Building relationships, awareness, voices, engagement. Brave Fest. Yes. 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 Come on out. See you all Sunday. <laughs> we'll party on Sunday. Are you going to be there, Emily? Going to be there, for sure. Uh, I guess I can go there. <laughs> I already know Maximilian's going to be there. But if you're going to be there, yeah, yes. Emily. <laughs> Massimiliano. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, just there, saying goodbye. That's there, all. I was going to say, <laughs> Arrivederci. Arrivederci. <laughs> so uh, uh. we're, we're going we're gonna to make sure that everyone has the, the right address here. Huh? So we're going to bit.ly forward slash Brayfest 2024. Oh, yeah. yeah, just go to web, our website. Just our go website. to the you website. Can, you can click on that. Because you okay. just confuse me, even though I know. <laughs> I want to make sure. I know I'm a tech nerd, but you confuse me. <laughs> my so wife is listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to get to that yes. was from my Communities.org. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> wow, thank you guys for coming thank out and sharing. Thank you so much, and happy early birthday. Thank We're going to we'll have a long big party on Sunday <laughs> for you. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Thanks for having us. <laughs> ah, thank you. Hey, you're, you're welcome. Thank you so Cause much. Because I know you got some friends that are out and about. I'm, I'm, I'm doing that for you, Miss Marla, okay. and your people. Because I'm going out whether it's raining or not. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, see. I'm just going to go and braid up the crown here. Uh huh. No, that's right. And then I'm just going to throw, like, maybe Lola may be going out tonight. Oh, yeah. You, you got it. For those who don't know, she names her <laughs> hairstyles. <laughs> <laughs> what Lola wants, <laughs> Lola gets. Yep. Mm-hmm. I, I thought it was Miss Marlon wants. That's what yeah, she gets. But, but yeah, but that is true. But the name of her crown. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like that I can be versatile. You know. Yeah. Sometimes it's just a wild afro because I don't feel like doing anything. And well, it is. You know, humidity matters. <laughs> it does. It's seventy-one percent sometimes today and yes, eighty-seven percent exactly. tonight. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And then when it's like this. <laughs> it's doing it because sometimes it, it, it curses you out. Like, hey, oh. what's up? It's old. That's old cow hair. I know. Sometimes it's cursing like a sailor. Sometimes it's like, hey, y'all, I'm cute today. Oh. And then others, it's like, whoa, what's up? <laughs> and the Chicago comes out oh, and stuff. But then, yeah, yeah. But then, then <laughs> the, so, you know, and I throw some, I to do some good conditioning and stuff. And then, you know, it calms down. It's like, you got to oh, okay. go in. Lola may come out, you know. Yeah, if there is actually an ebony. That comes out, but her hair is a little longer. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, she really thinks she cute. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got How multiple personalities cute. for Lola. <laughs> Man, yeah, I just, need to yeah, talk what's to your somebody. name, Ebony? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that used to be my um, club name. Don't sit back like you know make, you make, Oh, you I make skit pers- uh, split personality sound cool. <laughs> hey, <laughs> sometimes you gotta have some things to throw people off the scent. Yeah, yeah I had yeah. an AKA. See, I had a name see, what that was I yours? went by. What was, what was you didn't want them? Well, well, there's a few. Okay. okay. Oh wow. Oh, wow. wow. Hey Naro was <laughs> one. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey Naro. Hey, oh, come Naro. on, man. Yeah. I can't hey, roll hey, It won't for you, Terry. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 This, 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 this is how it went down. Okay. 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 And let me just tell you, brother, it was very successful. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. But you, know, you. Terrence. I'm gonna tell you <laughs> now. That, oh, okay. <laughs> now what? Now what? And I can hang Why with you. I can. I, I couldn't hang with the other guy. I, I had to step out the room. And he was oh my god! <laughs> when he did his accent, Maximilian. I was like, wow. Yeah. Yep. 
I think I'm going to Italy. I need me. <laughs> I need me an accent. Women yeah. like accents. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, do. Do. Okay. yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Even if it's country, sometimes we country. Like, okay. Hello, okay. I, like a good, I like a cowboy. You gotta do what sometime. you gotta do. <laughs> and, and you know, you know, I did. I lived in Europe. And I'm going to tell you, that's another reason why we were exotic. A lot of us Americans, man, we came up Hmm. over there because we were the exotic. Because we had an accent. Because we're Americans speaking American English. And we have a different swag. And so, yeah, there. That's why we... Ah. Top of the top of the food chain, but yeah, here. Wow! If you're top of from somewhere chain. else here in America, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, the ladies, ladies love it. Okay, so I get it. So we I'm do. A- I I know you guys hear this other voice laughing and chiming in. Yes, I do. Yeah, and so we do have someone in the house. <laughs> let's, get let's, to, ah! let's get to it. Let's get to it. <laughs> Ma'am, can you go ahead and do a mic check for me and 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 introduce yourself? Okay, I'm April Phillips. Thank you so much, Miss Martha, for having me back. <laughs> yes, welcome, welcome to the April morning with cry. who? I'm April with Professionals. Okay, Professionals. Fro. Replace the P with an F. Yeah, Fro. Fro. I like where this is going. Hey. <laughs> There was a reason uh, my transition into hair. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, because I still got issues with like some of my nephews who can't even wear their hair in the schools. And we have already, we've already approved the, the okay, and I'm, see, I was getting ready to jump into politics. It's a dog is what it is. Yes, exactly. If he want to wear his locks all the way down to his butt, let him. Yeah. Because it is part of his culture. Mm-hmm. You can't, how you going to tell him what he can't do? And it's pitiful that we have to come up like that and we have to even in this day and age like this is our culture have to have a law to legalize <laughs> to have a law yeah. to a, a law you know because I yeah. remember way back in the day this lady wore her she had her hair braided and went to go work at one of the major uh, hotels and they like oh no well, you mm-hmm. can't work here with that kind of hair. Mm-hmm. And so it's been a fight ever since. Mm-hmm. It's still a fight. <laughs> <You're> still. <laughs> what you know about that Crown Act? Well, yeah, it was. It became official in September 1st of 2023 here in Texas. Mm-hmm. And uh, we went ahead and celebrated it with a Crown Act Festival. And I'm going to just go ahead and officially, unofficially designate September 1st as Crown Act Day. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. sure. You, got right the power, you got the power to do it, girl. <laughs> so right ahead. Damn. It is so decreed, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Do y'all want to know a little bit about it? Yes, yes. we okay. do. So let me tell y'all about professionals first. Initially, we were a list of BIPOC or Black and Indigenous People of Color mm-hmm. business listing platform. Uh, but we specialize in natural hair care. But we are now revamping to include business industries in general for black and Hispanic and indigenous people. Oh, wow. And we're set to relaunch on September 1st. Mm-hmm. So, congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate that. And uh, we are a nonprofit, and our aim is to stop the mass incarceration of blacks and Hispanics. It's ridiculous, it's out of control, and we want to halt it, Mm. okay? And the way we plan to fix that problem is by addressing the three primary risk factors, which are Mm. lack of access to quality mental health care, Mm -hmm. lack of legal representation, Mm -hmm. and also lack of wealth-building initiatives and entrepreneurship. So those are the big three? Those are the big three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do have someone, and they wanted to mention something. Yes, me. Real quick. Uh, happy Friday. you live on the morning grind. All right. This is Mr. Strong Coffee again. <laughs> <laughs> I got an extra strong now. Oh. I am a victim of what she was speaking about. You're a victim. In the state of good. Okay. Okay. And then about the dreadlocks and the... In the Bible says, I know it says gray hair is a crown of glory, but all hair is a crown of glory because God put it up there. Yeah. We was born. That Bible wasn't talking about no straight hair, though. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. That Bible wasn't talking about. Come on, Miss Marla. Let's be inclusive. (laughs) (laughs) It wasn't talking, you know. They talk about locks, hair like sheep. Mm -hmm. That's right. So you say you were a victim of it yourself? You were a victim yourself? I am a victim of I'm a black man I'm 57 years old I went to Atlanta to bury my uncle because he had got exposed to Asian orange 
And the brother knows what I'm talking about because my, my uncle was in the military, Vietnam. Mm-hmm. And I was arrested mm-hmm. because I didn't want to be intimate with a woman. Huh? Huh? Yes. I got the paperwork and I, I would text it to y'all and show y'all. And they put me on some kind of probation. And when I went to looking at the paperwork and everything, I was like, oh my God. They done two year this, two year that, two year the other. So how can I be on probation? And I live in Texas. And it's, it's sad. And we what? need to stop and think about why we resting these people. It doesn't matter what color you are. They resting everybody. Wow. I hear you. Well, thank you for and sharing. Thank you for sharing. Because you know you only you don't get that much. You you can't get that many I mean, minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we do appreciate you calling in. Yeah, we do appreciate let, right. letting us know that you have been going through that too. From some, I don't know, you said it. woman and your hair. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Wow. And that's one I of the mean, things that yes. Fur Freshnals is doing. Like, as yes. she said, they're aiming to grant black and Hispanic boys and girls who are at risk of mass incarceration. So she's going to tell us a little more about it. But yes. thank, thanks for calling thank in. Thank you. We appreciate you. So how, so how would we go about it for that um, that uh, that legal advocacy that you guys are reaching out to? Um, I, I would say that there are a lot of young black and Hispanic boys and girls who know nothing about opportunities of aid. Um, you get a you get a phone call. Um, you, we don't have someone in our familial lineage that's a a, a lawyer that has a, a right. juris doctorate. Right. So, is there a is there a marketing plan that you guys have to do just to? It sounds like it's got to be pretty hard for you to make most people so aware of what this opportunity is. Well, is it's it will include a marketing plan, of course. Mm-hmm. But professionals is in the process of developing an adjudication deferral program. Mm. Okay, and what we will do is to use legal professionals. Yeah. So paralegal professionals and attorneys as a part of their experiential learning program mm-hmm. to be interns to actually go into mm-hmm. jails yeah. and teach the the inmates how to advocate legally for themselves. Okay. That's step one. Yeah. Eventually, we would like to be able to hire enough attorneys to where we can dispatch attorneys to actually show up to the initial hearing which is where the most important and critical decisions happen concerning um, the outcome of an accusation to show up at the hearing and just dispatch them to represent blacks and hispanics in the courtroom before it even goes further than that yeah um that's two the the third part is that we're hoping to be able to partner with a prepaid legal program mm-hmm. to be able to grant blacks and Hispanics on their 18th birthday a uh, one year subscription mm-hmm. with a pre, prepaid legal program so that they'll already have access to legal services. Um, and it's, it's unfortunate, but it's needed. You know, I mean, once they're 18, it's, it's free reign. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and they actually, they're not even waiting until they're 18. They're trying to convert them early into the prison system. But, um, mm. you know, that's that's how we plan to address that. Oh, I like it. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what I was curious about. Uh, do you guys have also some uh, wealth building initiatives? Absolutely. Yeah, we have let's recently, talk about that. Yeah, right. <laughs> we have recently partnered with First United Bank. Yeah. And they will be our legal aid arm of our of our mission. And they will actually teach wealth building initiatives, financial literacy, and people who we ref- who we refer to them who complete the program mm-hmm. will then be eligible to apply for for business grants. Ah. Yeah, to either start or expand their businesses. Oof. And that's something. Financial mm. literacy is important. It should be taught in schools. It yes, should Hello. I mean, Hello. Um, Come on now. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's. I mean, it's not. I'm not knocking wealth building, mm-hmm. <laughs> but what's the point of having the money if you can't manage it? I know um, that's right. You know, yeah. what I mean, yes. like a lot of there are a lot of athletes who have, you know, a lot of celebrities who, who make a lot of money, going broke, and they lose it because they don't know how to manage it. And yeah, I feel exactly. like yeah. that's that's crucial is managing mm-hmm. the money. Mm-hmm. that you have right. or that we have you know right. and uh, like 
um, for example, credit cards. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, you, you not just plastic. That don't count. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. just right. something as simple as that. Yeah. Yes. Right. You know, money management. You know, right. like I said, a lot of people are so concerned with getting the millions. Mm-hmm. But yeah. can you keep it? And, you know, that's a problem. It's not that blacks and African-Americans and Hispanics don't have money. Come on. The problem is that we don't have we're low in entrepreneurship okay so the black dollar turns over one time in black communities it turns over six times in hispanic communities it turns over nine times in asian communities and it turns over continuously in white communities when you say turn over what does that mean i mean basically we make the money and then we go and Spend it in other, other communities. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly what I was just get saying. Up, get out it with right. the, we, we we spending billions. Yes. It's not like our market isn't oh. worth anything. I'm in business and I go to those research companies. And when you see how much that particular culture is spending, mm-hmm. like wow, mm-hmm. it's, it's amazing. We could be rich off of our own. Yes, we could if, had, we, if we bought it, it, from our ex- own yes. businesses. And if yes. we had the businesses to buy that, from, exactly, and the resources That's right. to make those businesses right. successful and mm-hmm. to market them. Yes. Yes. Wow. So you guys uh, are also working on increasing mental health access. Yes, yes, we are extremely excited about that. That is coming along very, very well. We just recently partnered with BetterHelp, Mm -hmm. which is the largest online virtual Mm -hmm. counseling platform. Mm -hmm. And they have made us a a distributor or manager of their pro bono sessions. So they assign us units and we're able to refer uninsured people to get uh, up to three months of um, individual, family, or group counseling nice. and texting um, nice. programs. Let, let me let me back up nice. because um, everybody may not know that Latin there. Pro bono. That's free. That's free. Okay. <laughs> All right. Up to three <laughs> months <laughs> of free therapy. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And, yes. It, and it makes it a little easier and less. If I don't have to go into somebody's office, it's probably right. a little, yeah. you know, less right. intimidating if I'm comfortable. Right. You know, right here, right. my laptop on my phone. Yeah. Exactly. You know, I what never saying? thought that, about exactly. that. That I could talk with somebody. Somebody. Yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. just going. Uh, I gotta go in this just office log on and to I got a computer. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. Yes. So that's that's the one thing. That's the one portion we're doing. We're also looking to partner with other agencies to make us distributors of of these um, counseling units. The other thing we're doing is that's actually part of the fundraiser at the next Crown Act Festival. We're raising hours and and units of sixty dollars because sixty dollars will fund our uh, low income sliding scale reimbursement program and basically for every $60 that's donated that will purchase one hour of counseling for an uninsured or underinsured uh, BIPOC person how would you make so, a donation well you can go on you can cash out professionals mm-hmm. F-R-O-F-E-S-S-I-O-N-A-L-S um, you can Zale five one two nine six three eight four eight seven. You can come to the Crown Act Festival. What was, that, what was that number? The phone number is is five one two, or you can just Zale professionals. There you go. Okay. Professionals at gmail dot com, and you can also support the Crown Act Festival. Come and support September eight, September eight at the Huddle YMCA. Um, there are uh, many, many ways that you can All give. Right. Uh-huh. For those who may have joined late, this is April Phillips. She is a trauma therapist, born in Arkansas, raised in South Central LA. That's right. What? West Side. East She's Side. Educated. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> educated. By the they don't know. They don't know nothing about that. They weren't ready for the East Side. Well, Sorry. She kept it real. I'm, I'm from the East Coast. You're from the West Coast. Uh-huh. I was giving you the whole coast. That's <laughs> uh-huh. like Chicago. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, East Side. Nah. Right. I live in Eaglewood. I definitely know the difference. And uh, she's educated by two HBCUs. That's Appreciate right. you supporting, ma'am. Thank she you. runs a private counseling practice, and she's a resident of North Austin for over 15 years. She educates nationally and internationally about mental health care as a That's basic right. human right. She's an advocate for criminal justice and promotes financial wellness as a part of holistic health care. If you join late, then you missed anything that she's talked about up until this point. <laughs> we want to thank you for all the work you're doing. 
I appreciate y'all. <laughs> I appreciate y'all so much. Yes. I want to yes. hear about this Frofest. <laughs> Professionals. Fro Professionals. So fro 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 replace like the afro. P Pull out with the an pick. F. <laughs> and you know what? The pick is actually the dash between fro and professionals oh, oh i see so professionals.com is a subscription based black and hispanic and minority business listing platform mm -hmm. okay like i said we are revamping to include all professional medical and industries employment industries or business industries to list their platform so we're we kind of want to be like the the black yep yeah the black yeah. yep mm -hmm. and we use the fees from advertisements and marketing services and subscriptions to reinvest into the community to fund mm -hmm. these initiatives and you can actually get a write-off for half of your subscription mm. because it's actually being used for charity wow so yeah that's what professionals.com is like right. about <laughs> yeah, look at air look at air just like her KZI. and you specialize in people with kinky coily curly and biracial hair you help them find products and professionals that cater to their specialized needs. Exactly. Yeah, Yelp ain't doing that. <laughs> Yelp ain't exactly. doing that. Exactly, yeah. They ain't trying to break it down like that. We yeah. appreciate you. Thank y'all so this much. This is great. Yes, yes. And what was those dates one more time before we end? September 8th at the Huddle YMCA. Mm -hmm. You can find us. You can go to the website, professionals.com. It's also on uh, Facebook. It's on Instagram. Um, it's on uh, Soul City, you mm -hmm. know. So yeah, big ups to Soul City. Big up to Those Soul City. Those are one City. of our partners. All right. All right. <laughs> Terrence be on Soul City all the time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to because you can click that button and take you right to us. Yes. yes, yes. <laughs> and right now is the time to go and check that out there because we're having a special. All right. Uh -huh. April Alrighty. Phillips, everyone. Yay. <laughs> All right. East now. side. East side. <laughs> <laughs> you know now. Uh, hey, you get the South Central LA drop her name. Drop her name. All right. They know about her. Um, All right. Uh, uh, we gotta give some love to our sponsors, and we'll be right. Uh, oh, feeling my that? You yeah, feeling I'm feeling that? that, man. I'm feeling yeah, that. That walk. Uh, you. Mm. It, that pretty girl walk is poetic. I like. The, I like. I like the beat, man. It's the beat just make you wanna. Yeah. Mm. It does. Mm. Feeling You're fine. listening it's to the morning, the morning grind. Dab a dub. Sip and wine with Miss Marla. Happy good. birthday. Feeling My name good? is Terrence Terrence. Let's Terrence Terrence. Let's do what I say. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, brother. Hey, it's live. It's freestyle. Hey, hey, I was hey. trying not to cuss. That's, that's yeah. the main thing. I'm trying to. None of it was no. written. Uh, okay. It was freestyle. I, 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 I got the nip button. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Off the dome. Miss Marla is on the telephone. Dapper Doug, you got the weather in traffic. Let me know. Know where it is i got to have it okay well we got some trouble spots according to kxan over on i-35 frontage road there's a crash lane is blocked right shoulder is blocked that's southbound at breaker lane over on i-35 southbound we have a stalled vehicle so that lane is blocked on the exit ramp that's exit 240 240a st john's avenue over on eans school road that main roadway is closed due to flooding fm 1325 object in the road san antonio street object in the road fm 2243 there's a crash that's nameless road at round mountain road that it's been there for a while people so watch out for that one and then lastly over on research boulevard service road direction southbound there's an object in the road that's at oak knoll for those who are going to be out and about, we're going to have a high of 88 today, a low of 73. Cloudy early with scattered thunderstorms developing this afternoon. The chance of rain is going to be 50% there. And then tonight, mostly cloudy this evening with showers developing after midnight. Winds will be light and variable. Chance of rain is 40%. <laughs> Sorry. I gotta help him, Miss Marla. No, no, no. no. <laughs> and thank you. Did we get like two? We got two this hour or something? You really care for the folks, huh? They ain't at work by now. I, I didn't want to disappoint Terrence. <laughs> oh, I got you. <laughs> but but school is out. School and is so out. So if you though. gotta take your kid to a ten o'clock ten o'clock summer camp. Yeah. Yeah. You need to know what's was, going on out there. I was I was laughing over here. Hopefully I was like you know, sometimes you just gotta laugh at things if it <laughs> happen. So I was reaching down in my pocket, in my purse, to get my glasses and my phone. And this chair is on rollers. So 
episode went to slip. Oh. And I caught myself. Mm. And thank God y'all didn't see because I would have been down. And I had to laugh. Oh, my God. I was over here laughing. <laughs> so, Terrence, I, I got to know, brother. If she would have fell out that chair, uh-huh. are you jumping up to help her or are you grabbing your phone to take a picture first? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to know. I'm going to help. Honest. I'm going to help. Right away? Well, look, man. <laughs> you gonna get a little chuckle first, and then, man, let me get on over here. He, he might be like me. See, I'm like this. Oh my God, are you okay? Are you all right? And then the moment you say yes, <laughs> it's on. <laughs> exactly. That's when you gotta yuck it's it up. Own. Hmm. It's so I had to play it off. Like, oh, whoops. <laughs> man, I feel bad because. I might want to grab the phone. Mm. Uh, well, you a social media guy, you know. You what? like you like content. No, I wanted that to go straight to our little morning grind chat. Mm. <laughs> see, I want I want the other saying. hosts to see it. <laughs> I want the Monday crew, the Tuesday crew, the Wednesday crew, the Thursday crew. Mm. I want them to all see it and be like, "Look what your girl doing." <laughs> y'all, y'all come get her. <laughs> That's what I want to do. But it's hey for those who don't know five one two eight three six two eight eight seven. This is the, well the whole month and into next month we celebrating Miss Marla and uh, <laughs> we're on her birthday eve. Right. So if you yes, want to call, yeah, I'm, I'm already helping her to celebrate. Thank you for the beverage. I appreciate that. You got it. Yeah. Hey. It's five o'clock somewhere, man. Yeah, it is. We having yeah. shots. Right. Shot, shot, Smo- shot, shot, smoothie. Shot, you shots. know, and I'll, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I can go fix you one. You want me to go fix you one? I just said you strawberry, you strawberry and banana. Oh, the, oh I the have green. the green goodness. You know me well. See, she knows me well. That's See. that's where I go. Mm-hmm. That's strawberry. You know, you know what I hate? The the woman called uh, Kamala President Harris. Already, yes, yeah, why you and, hate that? Because I'm running for president. I forgot you running. How you, you forget you're the you, vice president? Oh no, no, no. And you're, and you're the though. press secretary. I, really? Yeah, because you can <laughs> you can talk. I could do it. Right. Oh, you know my that's plat- a lot of face time. My, my platform is the oh, sticky God. green platform. <laughs> the, 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 the sticky green party. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So yeah, brother, you getting any traction? Oh yeah, man. I mean, I'm gonna still take the job, but uh-huh. I just kind of right. look at my prospects. Yeah, uh-huh. your prospects. And, and know that what <laughs> other presidential candidate is, well, is seducing you? I just need to know exactly how long we gonna last. I'm sending out a note so, uh-huh. that uh, I'm gonna be going ahead and putting myself into that position. Oh wow! And so it's gonna be some competition. Oh wow! She, you know what? You know uh, what? I thought I was a VP, and I and I have the right to go Dang. ahead and say I'm gonna run for the president. Is that a mutiny? The, oh, oh man. Man. <laughs> but you ain't even take office. And, I mean, you, you know, got usurped. Yeah, I, I figured. <laughs> no, no, like, wait. She you were bamboozled. She hasn't run yet. What's your platform? She what led you said? straight. What's, let's let's debate. Let's debate guns. Oh, oh, oh okay. let's, de- let's debate hey, guns. Are you ready? Let's moderate. Let's Hold on. I got to moderate. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, okay. Mr. Terrence, yes. I'm going to need you to hold. Okay. We need to hear from uh, presidential hopeful, uh-huh. Miss Marla. What uh-huh. would you like to say to the people as you ascend to the throne? <laughs> the throne? <laughs> <laughs> the office? Wait, she's a queen. Oh, okay. Office. Uh, but, yeah, we uh, will Mr. Take Terrence, that. I'm going to have to mute, mute your mic. <laughs> <laughs> the floor is not yours. Please see the see floor. Already. See that? already. See that? He ain't even trying to let her speak. See. <laughs> Oh no, we want to hear. He was he been running since last week. <laughs> since last week. <laughs> since last week. Brother, we, we're not even ten know. days in. Even in the NBA, it, you get a ten day contract. So, I know. I've been. Uh, oh lord, I've been like uh, searching and, and researching and stuff through that doggone Project Twenty Twenty Five. Yes, ma'am. And so when I become president, mm. I'm just gonna take that big nine hundred thing and just burn it up. I'm gonna throw it right up in my fireplace. Hey. Mm. Yeah, right there. Push. <laughs> With the hmm. sound effect. I'm sorry. <laughs> Was it doused in, in kerosene or something? That thing <laughs> caught on fire quick. <laughs> what you gonna do about guns? What you gonna do about health care? What you gonna do about the environment? Okay, so the health care, uh-huh. government is gonna take care of everybody. Oh, okay. Everything. Like, right. Free cool. health care. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Take care of the people. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> take care of the people. Gotcha. I'm already a fan. You know mm. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay. We covering it all. There you go. Well, I am a member of the Sticky Green <laughs> Party, so <Yeah. laughs> you already know how I'm gonna take care of everybody oh, and how I'm gonna oh. fund it. You All know I know saying? is I have in, I have already have investments, <laughs> so I'm going to need you to legalize all of so Okay, Terrence. Uh, yes. See, you're just talking about a temporary fix to uh-huh. help us get through the pain. Yeah. She's talking about the long-term, yeah, she's talking about, our long-term care. She said everybody. She uh, said, so, ladies and gentlemen, uh-huh. one point for a presidential hopeful. <laughs> you ain't supposed to be judging. You're supposed to be moderating, press yeah. secretary. Well, 
<laughs> I figured maybe, I could. Maybe you should have realized what room you walked into. Wow. Yeah. This was a, I, I, it's, it was loaded. <laughs> Politics, babe. This, yeah. this is what I get for, you know. Nothing personal. This is what I get for appointing KZI staff I'm members. literally leaning left. Uh-huh. <laughs> she, she's on my left for those who are in the studio. I'm leaning left. Mm-hmm. This brother's on my right. You, you know, might, he's too you, far right. You might get Miss Charlene's vote if you go ahead and sing for her. Oh, no. <laughs> My sherry or more, <laughs> distant of the Milky hey, Way. You need a vote hard, hard. You need a vote. He didn't even. I want her to call her up, up here and advocate for me like she advocates for Kamala. Okay. You know, let me tell you what I'm gonna do about guns. Here's, okay. Here's what you gonna gun. do about them guns? You know, listen. I don't what you li- gonna do? I don't like guns. Yeah. I don't live in fear. I don't. I don't like living in fear. But right. I know America likes guns. So yeah. here's my plan. Okay. I'm gonna okay. give every American a gun for okay. free. Right? Okay. Okay. But I'm gonna charge a hundred bucks per bullet. Oh, wow. You see what I'm saying? That's wow. like, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, because you did this. Uh-huh. <laughs> those, like, those doomsday Because mine, nigga, mine take about seven. Uh-huh. <laughs> That, that's it. <laughs> I got an extended. You know what let, me, let me go to my bag. I got a lot of hundred. I need thirteen of them. That's how you thirteen what them. The? That's how you pay for everything. Okay. Like everybody she gets their gun. Good shot. She only needs seven. <laughs> really? I'm I, oh, I'm, I'm a best. I only need them. one. I'm that's a it. great shot, one babe. One shot, one kill. Well, I walk. <laughs> <laughs> Although I am anti-war, mm-hmm. oh no, that so it, it ain't war. I'm trying to get the, you know, the buck or something out there in the field. I don't call shooting war. I oh, call okay. it a family cookout. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you always got that one cousin. I don't know who you know. It might be somebody crazy standing five feet within my doorstep, or is it mm. ten feet? Mm. I just thought it was five feet to give me the. <laughs> well, if they standing at ten, by the time I only they still fall, need they'll, one, they'll fall into the pot. I, I still only need one. Mm-hmm. So man, I gotta spend. What you say is a hundred dollars? Yeah, hundred dollars per bullet. That's my wow. that's my plan. See, everybody want guns. You uh-huh. get your guns. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's what you want, right? And if you want to shoot them, yeah, hundred, 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 hundred. You know that's America, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> Man, you literally just made a whole black market. Because, <laughs> because <laughs> like that's not one now. We might we have been have. talking business. Like that's not we. one now. So we might as well get some money off of it. I okay, so you. you're enhancing the economy. You know exactly because <laughs> exactly. The black market sales. There's gonna be a lot of Cadillacs mm. popping trunks. <laughs> hey, you know, I, you know, I got them. I got them. Got them bullets half the price. Armor piercing. I got them. Bullets have right. Don't, don't be mess around with President and, 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 and Can I find them? You know, like for for the nights when I need, like when the vampires the ver- or, uh, or the <laughs> werewolves come out. Yeah, I'm gonna need the silver ones. Yeah, right. well, that's silver. That's gonna double the price right there. Yeah, leave so, <laughs> so two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. That's bullet. a precious metal. He didn't even go. He didn't even consult the precious metal guy <laughs> to see where it's trending. What's the what's the precise value? This this brother doing flat rates. <laughs> Can, right. you, can you look at him? Price true, silver? True <laughs> businessman. It could be down true right business now. True businessman. He said it could be down. It could. <laughs> God. We might only be able to get it for seventy five dollars. He even said two <laughs> two hundred. Hey, I was right. I googled price of silver. It's down today. Okay, <laughs> and it's only twenty seven dollars. Hey man, but you, but you got the process and the manufacturing. Because see, legal like legal in business, I can go up five hundred percent. There see, you go. See. There you go. I have the right to go. I mean, and don't they, you see these doggone gas stations y'all, y'all around here y'all charging see, five dollars for a exactly. day? Exactly. Y'all see me in debt? I'm trying to. I'm trying to solve the debt. In the goodness, in the, in the, listen. Here's my. Here's that's my, the way you're gonna take care of the deficit. No, that's one way. Here's okay. another way I'm gonna take care of the deficit. You okay. know, doing my research, uh-huh. I saw that a lot of our debt. Mm-hmm. Is it is with other countries like China stuff like that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So you know what we should do, with America? You know what we should do? <laughs> What we go? What should we do? Not pay them. Oh. See, check this out. Check Stay this. in debt. This no, 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 no. Check oh. it, check it, check it, check it. Here's okay. the thing. Okay. My friend told me, if you owe the bank yes a thousand dollars, right, you have a problem. See. Okay. But if because. you owe, but if you owe the bank a million dollars, uh huh, the bank has a problem. Yes. See what I'm saying? So. See. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I didn't get past the thousand. Brother, are you out here speaking to the every man? You <laughs> every like, man out here there. We owe somebody he, a Jeep. He, 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 all he, owe a Jeep. he be like, he be like, three f- chicken wings with the fried rice. There's a car three chicken wings out with the fried rice. Some. He be and like, first of all, <laughs> price gouging is illegal, brother. <laughs> By you, who what a normal president. Who am I gouging? Three chicken wings with the you, fried rice. One ounce of silver. Uh-huh. I just told you but today it's is not trending but it's not at twenty five eighty. Oh. And you price gouging us all the way up to a hundred. But you have to manufacture the bullets. It's a processing fee, man. Well, it's, you mm, need to, mm, you need to mm. open up <laughs> some some sweatshops or something, brother. You know, <laughs> drive down the prices. You know, pit it's bulls, not, pit bulls, right? Are they, gonna, my, are they gonna be legal? Here, no, they're not gonna be. They, they, look, here's here's my policy on. Oh, pit we talking bulls. about the dude, the rapper? No, the dogs. Okay, okay. <laughs> right? Because that's that's a big problem in the hood, right? Right. Okay. And if you want to own a pit bull, yes. You know, you should have to get bit by one before you own one. Wow. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, hey, you ain't saying nothing. You didn't say. He didn't say train. No, you no, gotta that, go that through mandatory be, dog training. That should be part and of. You it. have to have insurance. He said you gotta get bit. By that should be part. Listen, if you what a if cop, that suck a lock jaw if, down. If you a mama. cop and you want to use pepper spray, you gotta get sprayed. You should gotta. You gotta. You should. You know what I'm You should exactly. I got you. Yeah. If they you know, tase them. Yeah, they tase you. So what, and then you gotta put on a vest so we can shoot you. And, right. They so go you, through all of that. Exactly. So okay. I mean that's fair. So if you want to own a pit bull, so what about Rottweiler? You know, same thing. Same if, thing. If you want to own it, you should be get. You should get bit by one. Wow. So you should know. <laughs> so you should. Y'all should see that. As the, as the moderator, uh, <laughs> presidential hopeful Terrence, I appreciate that you came on today. You have outlined your principles, your goals, your positions on domestic and foreign affairs, but I need you to know the hood ain't voting for you. Oh, wow. <laughs> I hate to tell you this right now, oh, but Lord. go ahead and save your campaign funds because the hood ain't voting Man, for you. you There's know. a barbershop right now listening in. Oh, Lord, let me know. This brother messing with Pitt. <laughs> Hey, you, you can, can have up there. you can have your pit, uh-huh. but just get bit. Oh, oh, oh! oh. oh. You know, messed around and gave his brother an angle. <laughs> All right, go ahead. He got an angle. He's trying to be like Jesse and do that round. Top of the bow. He's like Johnny Cochran out there. You, know, you, you want to have fit, a pit? He must have quit. <laughs> he must have quit. This brother think he too legit to quit. Too legit to quit. But I'm just trying to get him to quit. Oh lord, because he can't politic. What? Hey man, Terrence, um, I, I need to know something here. You rather have me or Trump? Who, who, who in the Secret Service? <laughs> mm-hmm. Who in the Secret Service is going to be working for you? Richard mm-hmm. Smith. Oh no, <laughs> he don't trust nobody. He's Secretary <laughs> of Defense. Okay, ain't nobody getting past. Yeah, him. but that means nobody is getting past, brother. You need <laughs> access. <laughs> Somebody gotta have, be able to sit down in a room and uh-huh. talk with you. <laughs> You mean like a uh, 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 chief of staff? No, wait, I I actually don't want to know who your chief of staff's gonna be. <laughs> Edward Crowder the third. Oh my God! <laughs> EC. Edward's too busy EC. in the streets. In the, okay, he when that, he don't work for but you, that, right? But he's gonna know everything. Exactly. That's he gonna I know mean. all the info. Oh, he could be Secretary of State. How about that? I got you. I got you. <laughs> see, yeah, see. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, for those who are tracking the 2024 <laughs> presidential candidate. <laughs> Terrence, go to www. Uh, this brother ain't the one. <laughs> dot com. Yeah, you know what? And you know, just track watch, his progress. Watch. You know what? Uh, did you? Did you? Did you watch. Did he you had a vote last week. Exactly. Oh, she called in. She says, "You have my vote, Terrence." Right. That's one. <laughs> How many more I need? <laughs> I hate to break that to you. It ain't about that. You do. You ever heard of the Iowa caucus? <laughs> brother, you just don't worry about the one. You need some states. You know, hey, I could get some states. You need territories. I, see, I could get some you territories. You need America Samoa to vote for America, you. I could get Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. You want the Puerto Rico. Ricans to get you. you know, Hablo Espanol, part of the Puerto Rico. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You know. Somebody help. Them me. brothers in Hawaii ain't you know, messing with you. Hey, man, the Samoans, you know, hey, man. You, you think you can get them? I got them. All right. All right. I love Simone. Hate, hate if you want. You know, you're gonna be, you're gonna be up there, Mister, Mister President, Mister President Terry. I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh, that's the other thing. What? Ain't about the. Ain't none of us from the hood calling you Mister President. <laughs> watch, watch. Your mama what call you Terry. We gonna call you Terry. <laughs> watch. Uh, watch. Yo, T. You know what? You know what? I, I, you're I, not. I, you're not gonna call. <laughs> nope. Wow, Terrence, that's just Terry. I heard you call him President Trump. I heard you say President, but you can't. You can say President Trump, but you can't say President Terry. 
I don't say President Trump. You, I heard you say when you Felon was doing. Boy. <laughs> That's what I call him. And orange, I, orange hair, orange jumpsuit, dude. Wow. That's what I call him. <laughs> we just talking facts. Okay. Okay. A felon is a felon is a felon. Hmm. You know you're a felon. I, I, I know. And he's gonna be. You might not even be able to beat a felon. <laughs> no, um, I'm gonna beat the felon. Maybe, maybe you need to pose in a couple of orange jumpsuits. Hey man, you know I'm not. I'm not gonna mm. violate my integrity. I'm gonna solve these these our, our nation's problems. The, uh-huh. ho- the homeless, immigration, yeah, all nah. of that stuff. And I'm gonna take care of. Go start that. an insurrection. Okay. Maybe an, an get, insurrection. No, I'll get do some that. of his people to swing to your side too. <laughs> nah, you I'm need not. some help, brother. No, nah, I know. I, I got it. Okay. Did you rather I be a black Republican and get my Candace Owens <laughs> on? My my uh. <laughs> I thought uh, you, uh, you made your own party. I'm just saying, you, you the one. y'all all on Candace and stuff? <laughs> she do her research <laughs> while y'all all on her and stuff. Like, she, don't she do her research Get my Chef Clark, what's, what's his name? Uh, Tim Scott? Get my, uh-huh. <laughs> get my Tim Scott on. Uh, before we part, uh, uh, presidential yes. hopeful Terrence, what's your view on clean energy? Clean mm-hmm. energy? Yeah, because well, we got to go. So you got to end it like that. What, what is it? My view on clean energy? Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, we need more of it. It's clean. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, no. You know, it's like we, we need uh. homeless people. You know what? Uh. Here's my immigration policy, right? A lot of people coming into the country yes. right, illegally, right. right? So you know what I would do with the illegals? Mm-hmm. I would hire them. Okay. You know, for border patrol, have them patrol the border because okay. they don't want people coming in taking their job, taking their position because <laughs> they on the waiting list. Yeah. got here exactly. last, so they're gonna be on the waiting list to be exactly. illegally. And your first job has got to be the border protection. Exactly. Uh-huh. Keep you know what I'm saying. You, uh, on the and you know what they up to. They know what they up to. Uh, Takes okay. one to know one. So you uh-uh. see him stopping the border. Hey, man. Did you just use Rico to get up here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't be messing with him, dog. Exactly. He got me here, bro. It don't look like he got you here. You gotta go. <laughs> See? Now, now you on my team. Now you on my team. They, so they out here snitching. Dry yeah, snitching. Exactly. They know where all hey, the man. tunnels at. Exactly. Wow. The they they used it last week. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, Who else going to clean up the, the border? View, the but views the, and opinions. <laughs> yes, indeed. Who uh, else going to clean up the border but the people who crossed it, huh? Man, oh I'm hell. so brilliant right now. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I don't want y'all spreading germs or crazy ideas. Anyway. <laughs> what I said? I want crazy. y'all to spread love. Did I say something crazy? Spread love. Not COVID. Because it's still out there. Mm. And so... Um, <laughs> And you know, if y'all need to register to vote, uh, I can help you. But we gotta go. <laughs> I'm just trying to get my fair use in. That's all I'm trying. <laughs> oh my goodness! <sighs> I tell y'all. This Miss Marlon, we gonna sign out. D- 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 Dapper, did you have anything quickly to say? I just want to wish you a, a very happy birthday, oh, thank and you. I hope it's going to be a blast. And we, speaking on behalf of all the other associates here, we're had, happy to have had you for another year around the sun. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Yeah, happy 39th birthday. And uh, hey, she young. <laughs> Similac. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and go to the polls. I need y'all to get on the poll and oh. vote. You know what? She, I gotta get on the pole. <laughs> I, I, I gotta get yeah, on the you pole. Said. Goodbye. Hey, you can't even look. I'm practicing. It's a pole in the basement <laughs> in Chicago. Goodbye. So when I went there, I was practicing that pole.